Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to week four's day one. Sulking is, you know, um, just sulking because of my playlist that I made. It's just so sad, but beautiful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's completely unrelated to literature, but you know. Uh, so today I had to go to the doctor because of my eczema again. So I, but but as an amazing gr the the good group mate, the the adequate, <laughs> just slowly going down. The, but uh, the adequate group being the ad what? Being the adequate group mate that I am, I did my part immediately when I got home after walking the dogs. So my art app is good to go. My rape of a lock group is good to go. I did it yesterday on time. And my queer theory group. And then it turns out I was just imagining the paper that was due today. I don't know where I got that from. So my next deadlines are March 3, 4, and let 42. I need to read East Hope and Belsey and kind of like cite them all and including the first two whose names escape me at the moment um and i need to answer i need to read phaedra and answer like mom's question about lineage and such on was it march 4 yeah and there's a new module for art appreciation and i'm just finishing up module one of philosophy and then I'm gonna move on. I feel I was really scared that I thought there were so many things you but I mean there are but turns out my pace was just right. And that is generous because I have <laughs> I've been stalling and you know, I wouldn't say it's on purpose but I am a human being who just wants to chill and watch shows and I haven't gotten around to playing the bass, which physically pains me, but I have been writing songs, so I'm really excited. I'm actually about to answer a discussion board for a philosophy class. I don't know if I can share it with you, but generally we're just supposed to answer what our alternative reading group um, thinks of, like how it how does over-determination work for our reading group? And I'm in queer theory, so I'm about to think about that because I kind of get it, but I'm still kind of confused about over-determination. I don't know why my brain is processing it, process, processing, processing it extremely slowly, but I will try to understand it and <laughs> answer it so I can get this module over with, which is a beautiful module, by the way. I keep describing things as beautiful, but I don't know why, call me a nerd, but like... <laughs> I don't know. Like, does that make me a nerd? <laughs> I just really love philosophical topics. Like, even the ones that I can't really understand. Because when your teacher is so good, your heart just kind of moves into the right place. Because you're passionate about what they're passionate about. And I love that. That is teaching. So I'm going to answer now because literally it says here, I think for queer theorists, and that's it. I decided to make this video. <laughs> so I'm gonna go now, I'll see you tomorrow. It is currently 8.57 p.m. So I'm gonna have to feed the dogs in a little bit. So I hope you're having a good day or night or whatever. It's day two of week four. Nothing much, nothing much. Uh, just listening to Mitski while looking at this huge fur ball, dust ball combination. Bruh. Hello, it is 12.41 a.m. Wednesday. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna count that though. I'm still gonna count it as day three of week four. I am reading... East Hop, East Hope right now. I realize I've been saying his name wrong. Either this is a typo or I've been saying his name wrong the whole time. Currently on page three and I need to cite 
this author, Belsey, and two others tomorrow, and something gonna answer, then I have to read Phaedra. Um, all I did today was finish my module one of philosophy and do a clean the house like insane as well like all the gross parts too like the cr and like the sinks and everything and ugh, it was gross and um anyways <laughs> i hope i can finish at least this tonight so that i can answer everything tomorrow without having to worry about anything and yeah, we pra we had a dry run for our presentation tomorrow in Lit 32 about the rape of a lock. So I'm gonna be um, presenting Canto 2, which is my favorite one, by the way. And I might share with you like a part of that if I or if I didn't already in a previous vlog. I'm pretty sure like I took a photo of it or something. If not, I probably will at the end of this vlog. It's really good. And yeah. See you tomorrow. Hello. <laughs> it is day three of week four. Yeah, um, I'm so happy because I just listened to Do Little by the Pixies twice. And I can fully say that I appreciate every single song. You know, it's true what they say that you have to listen to like a song or an album twice or more than once. You know, like a literary text, you have to read it like more than once to really understand it. Because at first, you're still trying to make sense of everything happening at once. But anyways, the reason why I'm like super happy is because... Ah! Sir said he was gonna give us an A for our philosophy group work. And I'm so happy because the sources that I put there are from my freshman year final paper in NLIT 21 for... Um, was that Lacanian, Lacanian reading of Turn Red the Sea, and my endless thirty-one paper of like how women are portrayed in the Iliad and Greco-Roman myths, and like <laughs> and how it relates to like the manic pixie dream girl thing. I'm so happy. Like I was so scared because I was like one of the last people to like put my part, and then Sir also commended our sources. <laughs> so um a tip for you okay actually this applies to basically any course save your sources of your papers like don't delete it because it's extremely useful for like when you make papers or group works in the future you're not gonna regret it i swear like always save your citations your bibliographies and everything save them And so we're like, so I recommended my part in the end because like I wrote the last two paragraphs and like um did some like corrections so like just proofreading stuff and like oh, he said he loved it. He said he liked it a lot and it was delightful to read because it was clear that everyone had their own contributions. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to say that I have to read Phaedra today, I have to finish reading East Top or Hope. Uh I tried to read it last night, but I barely understood it. But I'll try my best because I have to answer something about it today. And I'm gonna read Belsie, and then I'm gonna read Phaedra because I have to answer something about that for tomorrow. And I'm sorry I'm speaking super fast because I'm gonna run out of memory. But yeah, I'm gonna feed the dogs and cook rice now. Bye. <laughs> still day three of week four, but I'm still so happy about our protocol getting a. Eh? So I'm gonna read to you the parts that I wrote that I'm really proud of. So, the last paragraph, because this is the one that Sir commented the most on. In the Iliad, women are somehow associated with object objectification and being powerless. And unfortunately, this patriarchal perspective remains ingrained in society today. What Agamemnon did when he took Briseis away, as stated earlier, was removing a symbol of Achilles' masculinity rendering him powerless and therefore feminine because achilles without his girlfriend feels objectified and othered by this blatant attempt at robbing him of his phallus so is it very good <laughs> and then according to, to lacanian psychoanalysis the rupturing of a system of which an individual is used to can cause them to lash out unconsciously 
and in this case, Briseis is the phallus that was taken away from Achilles, causing him to retreat and react in an almost childish manner. And Sir said, excellent! I'm so happy. My group mates are great. I enjoyed it. And yeah, I added five references and did some proofreading and editing for grammatical errors and stuff. So be a good group mate. Do your part. Sources, sources, sources. And Grammarly is useful. But yeah, it, it helps a lot when you actually know what you're talking about because I was basically prepared for this by my other subjects in the past so I'm very thankful because I'm the only literature major in the group and all of them are block mates so literature hello I just moisturized my face this is a stand-in for day four of week four because I was extremely busy I worked out and like had to go to this Thing and prepare for it because family um anyways i tried to read phaedra yesterday but i kept falling asleep so i gave up and i just took a nap and then i had to go to the thing so i'm gonna finish phaedra today answer the question about lineage hopefully i can read two and lit 42 texts and then proceed to the art app module tonight so it I can do more art up and philosophy work this weekend because I feel like I'm a little bit behind but at the same time no also why is time moving so fast Ugh. I have to answer the Phaedra thing because it's due tomorrow so yeah see you in day five because it's technically day five but yeah <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all that we reported on day three, Wednesday, for a rape of a lock. Or did I say that already? I don't know, but it was pretty good. Honestly, I feel kind of bad because like most of my notes were on the PowerPoint, so I was just like mostly reading. But it was decent enough. No doodle, you bit it, doodle. The hard dog. The hard dog. Hello. Whatever the prompt said bearded, I couldn't think of anything except for a bearded dragon. That's the only thing that I can think of. <laughs> My mind wouldn't let me think of My greasy fic. Y'all. Oh no! Hi. Pretty girl. She's so large. Oh hello. Hi baby. Hey y'all, so it's technically the weekend, so it's not really a day, but you know, it's the bonus days, Saturday. And I didn't really film that much yesterday because honestly, I didn't really get anything done. I was procrastinating like hell. I'm currently in the middle of working out, but it's a break, so yeah. And I just want to tell you all I did yesterday was finish Phaedra. And that's literally it. I just kept getting distracted by talking to people because that's what happens when you don't talk to people. <laughs> Suddenly, when you talk, you can't stop. So, um, yeah, uh, that's all I did. So, um, point of this vlog, the whole vlog series, is to show you my real experiences. I'm not gonna fake productivity. I'm not gonna. Also, I'm also not going to tell you that you know. My way is the best way. <laughs> I'm showing you so you can learn from me. Please, um, to avoid what happened to me. What? <laughs> to avoid the thing that happened to me happening to you. <laughs> Moderation for everything. Really set yourself, give yourself time to talk to people <laughs> when you need to. I mean, it's weird because you can't really schedule a conversation. But yeah. Those are my sentiments regarding the matter, and week two is up, so that's great. 
and I really hope that I can read. Uh, I need to do <laughs> read Goldman's analysis of Phaedra, and then I have to answer the thing because it's due today. Then I have to read two endlet texts, and then I have to I have this endlet forty two group thing due on the fifteenth, and I'm gonna read art up, and then I'm gonna do philosophy and. Basically, you know, the usual for me is my weekends is I'm still working because let's face it, there are no boundaries at this point. <laughs> I'm not saying it's good, but that's the truth of the situation. Like, it's hard to not, like, it's hard to set boundaries for yourself when you're literally just staring at a screen. And any moment that sometimes there, no, not any moment, there are some moments that are like really chill, but a lot of the times when I take a break, I like knowingly and not in a procrastinating, I'll just do this for a few minutes kind. I'm always like, wait, I could be spending this time doing that thing. That's why my breaks end up being like those whim kind, the ones that you go on on a whim. <laughs> what is this grammar? Where I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna look at my phone for like five minutes and then the timer is up and I'm like, just a little bit more, like, don't do that. Also, I still haven't played bass, but I've been practicing a few songs on the guitar, so I'm really excited about that. And I got more subscribers! I'm already at what? Like... I don't remember. I, I, I can't remember. <laughs> but on my music channel, I'm at like... 70... 75 or something? That's so cool. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so thankful, seriously. And... <laughs> I also gained a few in my main channels, work, guys. I mean, yeah. Thank you so much. What the heck? I can't imagine. <laughs> but yeah, it really means a lot to me to have your support. Um, hopefully, I can be productive enough to sell stuff on the shop soon as well. Sugarblade.404 on Instagram. Go follow. I'm going to leave the at here. And oh yeah, it's in my link tree down below. So you can always check it there. And yeah. Hopefully I can, you know, use this string of productivity. I've also been writing more songs, so that's really good. Hope I can get to reading and playing bass again. I learned Cool With You by Harris on the guitar. It's a little bit rough, but getting there. See you. <laughs> I was just lying down, so my hair is like kind of a look low <laughs> anyways um, so it's the weekend right uh, of week four and I just wanted to say an additional tip if you're a liter literature student or you're just curious a channel that I can recommend that has really useful videos is Tom Nicholas so I'm probably gonna leave like no, just just search Tom Nicholas. He's the British guy who has helped me survive a lot of literature classes. Like he's amazing. This guy and I'm about to um, rewatch his semiotics and structuralism video for our group work in Enlit Forty Two. So yeah, just a really helpful channel, and he's really good at explaining too. Even if you speed up the video like 1.75, you're still gonna understand everything he's saying. So, yeah, uh, enjoy that. And I did the Phaedra discussion board, so I'm done with that. I'm gonna rewatch some of this, but I hope that I can finish two and lit 42 texts today as well. There's hair in my mouth. So, yeah. Lu chum check. Lu lum check. We're about to walk, so bye. Help! Help! There's a lizard under. Help! Please! Oh! Was made for attention and clout. However, just recently, Olivia had the opportunity to get interviewed about her career and life in general. Hello, y'all. It's Sunday, and I'm here with Gucci. And we're just lying down. I just plucked my eyebrows. And shave my mustache so and today I plan on reading hopefully two and lit texts but if I can't then whatever <laughs> oh my gosh bad influence check 
I just don't want to do much because it's Sunday. <laughs> right, Gucci? Right, Gukambe? Hello? Okay, she agrees. See ya. I just realized how ugly that was. Please ignore that. Have this instead. Hello. So, because it is Sunday, it is time for me to give you my tip of the week and quote of the week. I honestly just opened the laptop and this was here because of my sister, so we're sticking with it. So, I don't remember what goes first. Was it quote or tip? But, okay, um, okay. So, my quote of the week is from Goldman's analysis of Phaedra. And it's really long. It's, it's, so, bear with me. Daily life is a confused and many colored anarchy where nothing attains its perfect essence and no clear dividing line separates the pure from the impure. Everything flows. Everything is broken or destroyed, and nothing attains authenticity. For men love everything which is hazy and uncertain in life, and adore the soothing monotony. Monotony? Monotony? <laughs> Sorry. Of the grand perhaps. Everything clear and unambiguous makes them afraid, and their weakness and cowardice lead them to embrace every obstacle set up by the world in every gate that seems to bar their path. For what lies behind each rock too steep for them to climb is the unsuspected and ever unattainable paradise of their dreams. Their life is made up of hopes and desires, and everything which prevents them from fulfilling their destiny is easily and cheaply transformed into an internal richness of the soul. The man who leads an ordinary life never knows where the rivers which carry him along will lead to. Since where nothing is ever achieved, everything remains possible. Isn't it beautiful? No, okay. Here's what I think of the quote. Here's why it's my quote of the week. It's because, I don't know, I just think that it highlights how boring a utopian world would be, right? Don't you think? Like, if you didn't understand it because of my weird swallowing and um, mispronouncing, just play it again. Um, I really enjoy like hearing quotes like this because, sorry, it reminds me that other people also think the same thing as I do but are better at verbalizing it and this verbalized how I feel about life sometimes perfectly. If that makes sense. Okay, yeah, of course it makes sense. It's in my head. So basically, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I like the quote because it shows how complicated human nature can be and how we crave for the excitement and the thrill of everything, but we also get easily overwhelmed by too much chaos. Yet we also get easily bored when we've settled down and there's nothing left to do and everything is fine. So... Yeah, I think it really encapsulates the essence of being a human being. <laughs> I hope that the mic of this MacBook is registering what I'm saying decent enough for you to understand. Because, like, the mic is built in, so it's like... <laughs> um, okay, um, and my tip of the week is... Um, exercise no matter who you are just do a workout that is safe for you and what you can do that's very attainable because we're all staying inside right now and it's good for us <laughs> mentally and physically to move around may that be walking around a treadmill or um, outside, if you want to go for a jog, do home workouts, like what I do, basically anything that just gets you moving because what I learned before in the fresh, in my freshman year was that I, I should not put off exercise because 
I put it off for the longest time when I was in freshman year because I kept saying, no, school is more important. You know, I'm literally, my parents are literally paying for this. And then I realized, holy crap, I gained a crap ton of weight and I am mentally doo-doo. So don't skip working out even if it's just a few minutes of your day on a regular basis three to four times a week, maybe even twice a week, depending on how intense it is. Just keep your body moving. It's what we need right now, that we can't really go around and see each other. It's important to at least maintain a sense of balance and, I don't know, energy. You get what I mean? I mean come on, it's exercise. Don't neglect your physical and mental health just because we're stuck inside and you're focused on school please don't you'll think yourself in the long run your body will thank you in the long run so let's get <laughs> yeah um I don't know what that was but I hope you get the point Happy week four. See you in week five.